What up, Heidi? This is Robbie from Premier Lawns. Today I'm back in my lawn. We're going to do the first mow, so I'm going to talk you through all the different processes that you need to think about whenever you're going to cut your grass for the first time after you've newly seeded it or turfed it. So stick around. For those of you that are new to my channel, this is a lawn that was an ugly lawn and we did a lot of work to it. There was a lot of weed grasses in it. So we decided to kill it off and redo it and I've been videoing every step of the way. Now in the last video we installed the lawn, that was five or six weeks ago and we haven't done anything else to this lawn since we did that apart from clear leaves off it and keep it watered. So look, if you like what you see here, make sure you smash that like button and subscribe for more content like this. All right guys, so whenever you're gonna do the first mow for the first time, you want to get the, the cutting just at the right time, but five or six, seven centimeters is perfect for a new lawn between six and seven centimeters so we'll have a ruler here we're going to measure the lawn if you leave it too long if you let it grow too long you'll miss an opportunity to thicken up the lawn whenever you cut your grass it starts to tiller and that thickens up itself now i have a really good blog post on this i'm going to leave a link down in the description if you want to learn more about the stuff that i'm covering today we'll have a ruler we're going to measure the grass say we'll want it between six and seven centimeters if you cut it before it gets to six or seven centimeters the lawn's not going to be old enough and you're going to put too much strain on it now a lot of people say to me how many days Robbie, is it before i cut my grass it's not about days it's always about the length so look let's go i'm not sure on the height my mower is cutting at, so I'm going to cut a small section and then measure it. This is too low. Perfect. Now, I have some exciting news that I want to share with you guys, so make sure you stick around to the end to see that. So there's the first cut complete, and as you can see, this part of the lawn is very sparse and I'm not happy with it at all. But that's a high traffic area where the walk on and it, the ground must have been very well compacted before we started. So I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to fix it. Now this, the rest of the lawn I'm happy with, it's, the grass is lovely and thick on it, as you can see here. 
So we're going to use pencil tines on the aerator. We're not taking out a core on this occasion and this means that we're causing very little disruption to the surface and then we're going to seed into it. So as you can see here, there's some dead seed on the surface, but whenever we seed, the fresh seed is going to find its way down into those holes and that's going to give it somewhere safe to germinate. Now, we are getting very late in the year and some of this seed may take and it may not take, only time will tell. Now, if you didn't have an aerator, you could use a garden fork to do this if you wanted to do this yourself. So here's the lawn, a couple of days on after the aerating. I'm really happy with how well it's come on. It still looks sparse in this area, but I know that it's going to thicken up and the rest of the lawn looks absolutely mint. You've probably seen a lot of Milwaukee stuff in my videos. I'm getting sponsored by them now. What that means is I can carry on making content like this series here on the Ugly Lawns. Usually I set up, I set up the channel just to promote the business and this year it's grown into something else, but these types of videos take a, a lot of time and effort to film and they're made just especially for the channel, so getting a sponsorship deal with Milwaukee is really good. Now, I'm the only landscaper and gardener in the UK they're currently working with. So I have something else that I want to share with you. Since my, my channel's now got up to over 10,000 subscribers, we can start selling merchandise directly on the YouTube channel. So I'm gonna donate the money it makes to one of the three charities. I'm gonna put up a poll and get you guys to choose what charity that we're gonna support. And then we're gonna pick a, a slogan, but there's gonna be more on that on the community page. So make sure you check that out. Again, I just want to thank Milwaukee for uh, sending me all this cool stuff and, and help with making these videos possible. Listen, so thank you for watching. Always hit, always smash the like button, subscribe for more content like this and I'll see you in the next video, goodbye.